Our two-day transformation projects are the only design projects that we do as a complete surprise. We meet with the clients so we can get a sense for their style. We get designing, they leave for two days, and our team takes over their space and they come home to an all new room. We are taking over our clients' entry and living spaces. They open up to each other, so they need to flow together. My name is Sarah Ward, and we built this house as our forever home, and we've been slowly trying to furnish it. We've tried out furniture in this room, and then we've moved it over to the living room. I reached out to Studio McGee because I was having a really hard time when we heard about the two-day transformation. Studio McGee was a great choice because they have a very distinct look. Even though we weren't able to choose the furniture, we felt really confident that it would be beautiful because of all the beautiful spaces that they do. The entry is a blank slate. Our client built this home really recently and it just needs to be brought to life. The living room our client actually had some furniture and she's gonna move it into our family room and we needed to rethink the space plan because they might add a piano here later and we just wanted to dress it up. We're a family of seven, we have five kids and so we're really hard on our house. There's a lot of kicking the ball and running around. My living room, I really wanna keep as a place that is beautiful and a little more formal. Music is a really big part of our family. In about one to two years, we're planning on putting a grand piano in there. It was really helpful that Studio McGee was mindful to work around the piano and, and design with the piano in mind. One challenge we are working with is the space plan. There are three entrances into this room. We have two big openings and then one small pocket door to kind of work around. We're really excited to have them just come and put it all together. We had beautiful trim work on the walls already, but I knew I wanted to take things up a notch, so we added dark grass cloth above, and I love that it creates this contrast without feeling overpowering in the space. And then we added furniture that is formal enough for it to have a grand piano in here later, but it's also really approachable and makes you just want to come in and hang out. I usually see people going too small on their rugs, and so we suggest going bigger. But in this case, our client started with a nine by 12, and we decided to go to an eight by 10 rug so that we could create some zones and also a good pathway between the two large openings. You can see we moved the furniture over here. We shifted how all the sofas and chairs were laid out. We have our sofa, coffee table, two chairs. It creates a great conversation area on the rug. And then kind of these surrounding vignettes that we created. As far as the color palette goes, it's actually kind of an unusual color palette. We have this sofa that has this gray sunbrella fabric, which is great and family friendly. It has this nice wood base across the bottom. But then on the pillows, we have some of this kind of like dusty rose color, a little bit of rust, a tan, a blue, but it all works together really well to add a little bit of color, but it still feels soft and airy in here. So we have this really great moment with this cane chair and these pretty botanicals. The architecture of the home is pretty traditional and botanicals are the perfect classic choice. They are timeless, but then they also add a little bit of color. And I love that these have this saturated green that adds color without being just too bright. 
space, you can see that we've added some hints of depth throughout to tie in with the grass cloth that we have on the walls. We have this urn, which I'm obsessed with. It's huge and the color's really pretty. And we couldn't put more lamps on the console, so we needed something substantial, and this is a great solution. And then we've tied that in with the dark coffee table, the dark cushion on this cane chair in the corner, and even little accents like the stripes on the baskets and on the leather stools. In a formal space, I usually like to add a hanging fixture to dress things up. But because of the orientation of the furniture being kind of pushed over this way, then our light fixture would either get pushed over off center in the room or it would be centered and then it would feel weird in the space. So we decided to just not add anything and then focus on the accent lighting. So we've mixed a floor lamp that has this great sculptural quality to it and then it's white and gold. So then the table lamp ties in with it, but it isn't too matchy. When you first walk into the home, there's this great spot in the entryway for a console moment. So we have this beautiful console. I love this piece because the tone of the wood is really beautiful. It ties in with the client's floors and it mixes well with grays, whites, and golds, which was what we wanted the color palette to be. So we have this great round mirror so you can check yourself when you're walking out the door or coming in. It has these little leaf details which are formal and kind of balance out the casual vibe of the console. And then I love this lamp, the green color, to kind of tie in what we have happening in the living room with the botanicals. All right. Welcome to your new living room. Oh my yeah. gosh. This is awesome. <laughs> Honestly. It's oh awesome. my gosh, you guys. So we, <laughs> we went from a big rug, we actually scaled down the rug in here and then we shifted kind of everything over so that you had a good pathway oh through these openings. And then these are actually really comfortable as well. Yeah, I, I love these those. with the wood back all the way around. I love these, that's like some extra seating because there's usually a lot of people in here. And I love that it's that neutral feel, but textures and it feels cozy. Yeah. Oh, I love it oh, <laughs> so <good>. much. <laughs> I gotta sit on these. And then I know there was lots of questions about, do you add a piano later? Yeah. So we filled with a tree, but I think we can easily move that over and then kind of, I can show you a few ways that we can arrange the chairs to make it so that you still have the seating and then fit your piano. Oh Car. my gosh. <laughs> Let's go check out your entryway. I think my favorite is that you can see the plaid rug, your runner, in your mirror when you're oh, standing I here. That. I love that you can see that. Honestly, I this is like ten times better than I ever imagined it would be. Really? Oh, this is awesome! Nice Thank you. Here. I have to give you a hug. <laughs> it is beautiful. I love it. Everything in this room you can shop on the Gee Co. And we have more two-day transformations and full home tours coming up. So don't forget to subscribe.